football will be back at Wrigley Field for the first time in 11 years. Matt Zahn is here now with how they're doing things differently to avoid a repeat of 2010, Matt. Yeah, that was a bit of a fiasco, especially at the last minute when they tried to play then. Both Northwestern and Illinois, of course, had to go toward the same end zone in that game because of safety concerns. Decided the night before the game that the outfield wall was too close to the east end zone. In coordination with the NCAA and the Big Ten, crews have made sure there will be no last-minute issues this time around when Northwestern faces Purdue a week from Saturday. One of the big changes is the Cubs' home dugout has actually been removed, along with some of the seating down the third baseline to make more room for the football field. Clark the Cub and Willie actually tested out the end zone to make sure it was safe. The Cubs would like to host many more of these football games at Wrigley. Our hope is, is that we'd have at least one uh, football game here a year. Uh, and that's something that we're looking at. And yes, we are absolutely open to hosting bowl games here. I think you've seen uh, other bowl games happen in baseball stadiums like Yankees, uh, Yankee Stadium. Uh, so that's something certainly we're interested in uh, hosting here. That would be fun. With no home dugout, the Northwestern players will actually have to go through the stands to get out onto the field, and they will use the bullpen area huh. during halftime so they don't have to walk through the fans. All right. Well, mascot approved. All right, we're making progress. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. No injuries to the mascots. <laughs> yes.